Okay, hello everyone. So now we have another interesting question here. So in this question we're asking, uh, we have a word as an input and we want to print the first letter and the last letter of the word as an output, okay? So this is the word here, which will be read as an input, right? We're using the scanner and then uh, we want to print the first letter and the last letter. So there are different, right? There are different methods that we can use here. So these are methods of the string. So word is a string. In the word, we can use the length method, right? Length will give us the length of a specific string, right? Uh, so in this case, if there are five characters here, there the, the length will be five. So word.char at is another, right? Is another method that we can use, but here as a as a parameter, you have to give the index, right? Which, right, which position do we want to get? And it will return you one character from there, right? One char. So if you give this, if you give a, a two here, it will give you this letter here because the index starts from zero. So zero is A, one is D, and O is char at index two. Uh, another method that we can use here is uh, word dot substring, right? Substring is a, is a method, right? It's a method that will give us, it will give us a, per, a part of the string by giving the right where to start and then where to end and then you can cut it. So there are two different methods. One is uh, with only one parameter, which tell me where to start and it'll get it till the end. And the second method is uh, with the beginning and ending index. So where to start and when to end and you cut the word. So these two methods that are, have the same name are called overloading methods. We're gonna learn about it, but in this case, we're gonna use one of them, okay? And then another method that we can use, uh, it is word.replace replace okay so this method here uh says that if you want to replace right in this string you want to replace one specific string with another string right over there so uh let me just you know replace all of course we can also use replace all but i'm going to use replace and then we say replace a specific right a specific string or specific something there with nothing okay so of course, you can solve this one in different ways. Uh, I, I You can solve it in a million ways. I'm going to solve this one in two or three different ways. And then if you did it in a different, another way, still, as long as the result is correct, uh, you're done, okay? So let me start with using char at, okay? So I want to print, right? I want to print the first character. So how I can print the first character? I can say, right, I can say word char at index and then I can say index zero. If I say index zero, it will print the first letter there, okay? So let me just uh, use the sys out, which is the print command. And I want to be to stay in the same line after we print this character. This will print one character. And then later on, I also want to print, right? I also want to print the last character. How can I print the last character? If I get the length, the length is five, but I want the last character, which is at position four. So always, one less than the length, so it is length minus one. So instead of using zero here as an index, I'm gonna use word.length, right? Word.length minus one. If I say five minus one, so if I say four, or four, of course it works for Adobe, but if it's a different word, then of course this is like more generic. So let me run this one, let me test, okay? Uh, if I try Adobe, Adobe, and then at the, as a result I have a and E, right? The first letter and last letter. So if I run my tests here, if all of them pass, which in this case pass, so it tries with different words, right? And then all in all cases, right? It BH, right? So if I try with another word, always prints the first letter and last letter. So this is the first method. Let me just say here, first way. First way. Uh, let me comment this one out. And then let me do this one in another way. What we can do here. Another way that we can do it is uh, also I wanted to tell you something, guys. So if you're printing, sometimes you can try to print. Uh, let me just do this one here. Let me just comment out this part. So this char char is a little bit weird. Okay. So when you're trying to print, if you print A and then let me run the code, it will print A on the console, right? If it's okay. But if I say A plus B, you're thinking that it is concatenating A and B, but actually what it is doing here, it is getting the value of A, which is has it will give us the ASCII code, right? 
which will be, I don't know, let's say 105, and then B, which has another code, and then it will add the code. So if I run this one, it will not be A, B, but it is a number here because, right, it is some specific value. So you have to be careful when you're adding charts. What we can do here, we can say, you know what? Let me add the char with some space in between. Okay, so what this one will do to say A plus space, it will make it a string and then it will add with B. So if I run like this, then the result will be A, B. Okay, so that's what you can do it. If, you, if you're doing this way, right? So let me say this one is the second way. Second way is getting, right? It is getting the first character. It is getting the first character here. Plus, it is getting the last character. Let me copy this one from here. But you have to add them with something in between. Otherwise, you can have problems, OK? So if I run the code, and then, uh, OK, I got a problem here because probably it's a missing uh, yeah, parenthesis. So let me run it. OK, word plus space char at length minus 1. So what is the problem here? Oh, of course, I don't have the word, so I commented these things out here earlier. Okay, so if I run the code now, then I will get, right, I will enter Adobe, and then I will see that I have A and E. So this is the second way, okay? So the first way was printing them separately. The second way was concatenating them, but we have to be careful, concatenate with some uh, string in between, otherwise you can have problems. Another way to solve this one, guys, is... Uh, by using substring, right? Substring. So I want the first letter. How I can get the first letter? I say where to begin and where to end. So let me just say here, word dot substring. Okay, substring. And then here, I have to decide where to start. So if I want to get the first letter, right? Let me just go back here. If I want to get the first letter, I will say substring start at zero and then end at one. So what this one says, where to start and where to end, but you're not including, right? You're not including the letter with index one. You're not including D is just to print the letter A. So let me try this one. Let me see that I am able to print, right? By just doing this one, I'm able to print the letter A. Let me run it. And then let me enter Adobe. And let me see, yes, I'm able to print the first letter. So now how can I print the last letter again? If I want to get the last letter, I will start at four and I would end at five. So since there are five letters here, I have to tell where to start and where to end, okay? So also, if you want from there till the end, you also don't need to say where to end, right? You can say start at four and then end wherever you want, okay? So this is a, a trick here, right? Let me also put this one here. Another method that we, we are using here, right, is word, substring, where to begin. And if you don't give the end, it begins at a specific place and gets it till the end, okay? So I will start at the fourth character, right? But of course, again, I don't want to hard code it. I want to, right, I want to do it uh, dynamic. So word dot substring, substring. And then here, just I need to tell where to begin. Where to begin is the, the last letter. So it is word at length minus one. Okay, word at length minus one. So here I am adding a character plus a character. Here I am getting a string, which actually is also one character, but it's a string. And here I'm getting a string, which is starting from there till the end. So let me just run it. Let me just test with Adobe. And let me print, and we see that I'm able to get A and E. So let me test again with this result, right? Let me test this one, and it should pass all the tests. So this is the third way. And I'm going to go one step further, right? Of course, you don't need to solve this one in different ways, guys. Any of them is correct. And then this is the, right, this is the last way that I'm going to do. Fourth. I just need the R here. Fourth way. Uh, how can I do it? So I want to say, you know what? Get dope. How can I get dope from there? And then remove it. So if I want to get dope, I can say here, word dot substring. Okay, substring. 
And then this one, I need to start at not the first letter. I want to start at the third, second letter. So the index is starting at one. And then I want to end not until the end, but like one before the end, right? So that's why I will say word.length minus one. Okay, so that's where to start and that's where to end. So let me see, first of all, if I'm able to get this DOB, right? These letters and not the first and the last one. So this is how I can, right? This is how I can print, how I can print starting from the second letter to the one which is previous to the end of the last one. I know this one looks a little bit complicated, but uh, if you practice, you're going to get it. So I can get D O B. Okay. So now what I want to do, I'm saying from the full word, remove D O B. How I can do it, right? How I can do it. Of course, this is just to show that I can get this part. Then I will say word dot replace. Okay. Replace. I want to replace DOB, right? I want to replace DOB with nothing. So what is, right? What is the string that I want to give? The DOB. This was how I can get DOB from this one. Okay. And then I want to replace that one with nothing. I know this is the most confusing one, guys. So that is how I can remove, right? This is how I can remove the DOB from the string. So let me just try to print this one now. So uh, I can also put this one in a string. String, the uh, final result, right? The final result. Okay, well, let me just say here, result is equal to this one. So this is what I want to print, right? This is what I want to print. Get the DOB and from there, right? And then from there, uh, change it. So let me just print it. Let me just print the result. And let me run the code. And then let me try Adobe. And then you see, again, I was able to remove the DOB and print A and B. But this one, right? Be careful, not always, not always correct. Why? Because you may have multiple DOBs or whatever, right? Sometimes you have to be careful. For example, if you have a, a word which has a repeating part, and then if you take it off, it may it may uh, give you a wrong part. Okay, so that's why this one is not always correct. I'm just giving this may work here, but there might be cases it doesn't work. So let me test it. So again, it passed. So you can uh, try different ways, guys, whichever you prefer. Okay, so see you in class on Sunday. Bye.